Hello and welcome to Casual Veteran Gamer. In this video we're going to go through level 12 of the Dungeon Keeper campaign which is called Elf Stance and using the Keeper FX mod. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on the channel and let's get into it. in this level is the first time you come across having to fight two dungeon keepers enemy keepers at once so what i'm going to try and do is you can see this keeper on the right they can only come out here but this keeper on the left potentially could come through the back of the dungeon so i'm going to see if i can block that route off as soon as possible. So we've already got a lair for our creatures. Right, four imps. Got a dragon. It's transferred from the last level. Now there are gems somewhere. Where are the gems gone? I think right at the end down here. Yeah, right, gems right at the end. Only one face of gems, but it will do. So, where am I going to put my dungeon? I'm going to put it on the right side. I've got loads of space here. It doesn't matter if it's right or left. Actually, I'm going to put it on my left in case this thing on my left goes wrong. Right, so. Let's just create some imps. This is going to be the hatchery. I'm not going to dig this side out, I'm going to leave this to be fortified so this gold can be collected without affecting efficiency. It's probably a big enough hatchery. I've already got one there, let's have another one. That's out the way. That's probably a bit too big. Out the way, no one's going to come here, so if there are creatures that don't like each other, they can separate their layers from each other. There's going to be a hatchery. It should be a library. Yeah, library can be beneath. In fact, the library can be here. It's fine. Probably put the treasure room up here. So hatchery, library, training room is going to be on this side. Again, this is all just in case this little adventure down here goes wrong. And if the enemy keeper's coming in, then it will come into my training room. Uh, workshop can be here. And perhaps put the other... Uh, oh. Let's get going. I only need to get to about. Oh, I need to dig all that out, really. If I'm going to be able to fortify the walls, I don't think it's going to be possible because if they if they can dig this gold seam all the way up here. All right. Never mind that. Let's see what happens. Right, uh, workshop. I'm going to add a treasure room now. <laughs> right, let's just collect some of this. That'll do. One, two, three, four. Nice amount of gold. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, hatchery. That might be big enough for now because I also want to get the dragon researching. Alright, and normally the imps are going. 
I'm going to go around, uh, take all the gold back to the treasure room. So I'll put a bad treasure room here, so the imps don't have to go too far. I should do it, do it going back and forth, Let's just create one large pile. Well, it doesn't matter. It's good to slap imps every now and again, get them working faster. I should be able to open up a port the portal soon. Right, this enemy keeper can't dig out this gold, although there are gems. I think every keeper gets access to gems. In fact, since I know that they're going to be able to get through, I should just leave that for now. Let them waste time getting through all that. Get that, open this up, get the gold that's nearby. I need more imps for sure. Try get the hatchery larger. Training room, and then we'll get to the portal soon. Portal's here. All right, this should be quick to dig out. <laughs> well, that's gone already. Oh, so we've got here, good. All right. Thankfully, it can be a little tiny bit slow at the beginning because of the level 10 dragon. But I can't get complacent with it. Because I can hear the enemy keeper already training creatures up. Right, so that's going to be another layer. Let's put that in now, just in case we need it. So I could put a torch chamber or prison around here and here. Let's get this gold as quickly as possible. All right, what's coming to the dungeon? Bile demon, good. Beetle. All right, you are going training as soon as possible. Ooh, I'll tell you what I should do. Create one more layer up here. Next to the gold seam, so... Uh, let's just leave that one there. Get some free training for the warlocks. Takes time, I know, but can't hurt. All right, getting rich now. Let's get the workshop going because I need to put loads of traps on the left-hand side to stop the enemy keeper from getting in too quickly. I won't be able to stop the enemy keeper, but it will slow him down. Training room, thank you very much. Yeah, another one for the training room. Barracks, yes, orcs will be fine, orcs will be good. Let's just put... Don't really care about the barracks so much. Fly. Got some prime candidates for temple. Did I pay the dragon? I forgot, it doesn't matter. It's loads of gold. All right, let's get a temple built. It's big enough. We will want a graveyard. I heard something walking around. It sounded like a hound. All right, a graveyard can go. It's oh, a bit annoying. Perhaps I can put one here doesn't need to be that big I suppose not the most efficient but it will do and a scavenger room right I should actually put the scavenger room somewhere yes this will do oh, bit... the scavenger room is really expensive actually but I want it to be nice and efficient all right yes so there. Let's 
Let's go into room. I've taken up space on the hatchery already. I guess I can go here. That'll be fine. All right. What creatures have I got? Am I at full there? No. Ah, only 15 creatures maximum. That isn't actually very many. <laughs> Fly buzzing around. Oh, you're making a home. Didn't mean to do that. I need you dragons to be training. Need strong dragons. Need strong everything. Prison. I suppose I should build one. Uh, I don't expect to imprison many creatures. This thing I have it quite small. I might be coming up through the store at some point anyway. Torch chamber, right. Definitely want a torch chamber. Oh, what? oh, I know where that is. That's going to be the other keeper already. Yeah. Let's have a look. Level 3, level 1. <laughs> That's the fly. Well, at least it's stopping them from training. Fly is proving to be a nice distraction. Alright, imps, stop that for now. Level three, level four. Good thing about the fly is that it will scare off the enemy imps. Uh oh. Don't want your flies to die quite yet. I'm not going to keep them for too long. But I do need them as some sort of deterrent for the enemy. Oh, I don't want a demon spawn. What's the point in demon spawn when you can get dragons? What's left? Oh, I still need some research. Alright, this is good. This is good to building up a small force in the training room. Which will slow down. What's that? What's that? What's that? Temple. Yes, I'll build a temple. Start sacrificing. Don't want beetle, don't want to fly, don't want a spider, let's just get rid of them. Might get something. A level 2 warlock, could be worse. Fact, let's get all the warlocks now. Level 2 warlock coming here, otherwise he's going to start shooting things inside the library, which I do not want. Also, with the temple. St start the great imp sacrifice. Oh no, no imps. Right. Ah, it doesn't matter, I'm going to sacrifice these imps soon anyway. One more round of sacrificing. <laughs> There's no way those creatures can get it. That's just a waste of money for the enemy keeper, right? Now I can start digging out some gold. That's more than enough for now. <laughs> I love these taunts. Alright, eventually get around to the gems. Alright, they're coming up here. Have I got anything? Let's just slow them down a little bit. Uh, graveyard, right. Start getting some. Do you know what I'm gonna put? What's this? This is gonna be a scavenger room. Change your mind about where the graveyard's gonna be, because I think we're going to have some fights on the left, and therefore I want less distance between the graveyard <laughs> and the dead bodies. 
also want to collect this gold as quickly as possible to pay for the graveyard and the scavenger room. Right. Sorry, Bailey's. Need to. Oh dear. Also need to reinforce the walls of the training room. Imps, more imps. Oops. And there's the scavenger room, right? Expensive room, uh, but it will be worth it. Sure. Right. Get these expensive rooms down. Then the imps can just focus on. I should just put another treasure room here. That's not a problem. There are no enemies coming. Not really. Brilliant. Those warlocks will start leveling up now. Alright, time to get rich. Because I need to pay for training and scavenging. I haven't actually seen scavenging in action yet. Uh, so that means I can put my level 10 dragon in here. And it will start scavenging, like getting enemy dragons from the enemy keepers. And they'll join my side. Oh, look at that. This is hardly fair, is it? On the enemy keepers, that is. <laughs> I don't mind. I think my maximum might be 30, but their maximum is 15. So to be honest, I should just be able to swamp just to completely outnumber the enemy keeper. All right. Oops, I've been saving money on payday. I'm going to do get an imp. And I'm going to increase its speed and then conceal it. Give it a slap and get going. Come on. Yeah. All right. Now, unfortunately, I don't have very many creatures making traps because I've been focusing on training. Oh, I don't need all those spiders and beetles. All right. Time to sacrifice. See what comes out. Ooh, look at that. Four dark mistresses. Don't really know how that worked out, but I am very happy with that result. No, you don't. So this imps me able to walk past because it's invisible. It's going to run out soon. And put the speed on first because I know when. Uh oh. When the acceleration runs out, uh, it's going to be seen soon. Now, I don't really mind about this land being lost. I want to get as deep into the enemy keeper's territory as I can. New imps. Start digging all that out, including the gems. Sorry, you're going to go that way. Oh, we can steal its library. That would be amazing. <laughs> this must be so confused. In fact, I need to kill it because... you back in here for now. I can't cast it before it's run out. I was about to drop that. Uh, this isn't going to work out. Oh well, missed opportunity. Go back there, start claiming this land again. Go on. 
Thank you. All right. 30 creatures. I mean, even I've got a few level one creatures. Yeah, I should just charge in. Let's just start this now. Because quite soon, yeah, the fight's going to start. Let's get the battle demons in. I'm going to leave my level 10 dragon inside the scavenging room. Let's unlock these doors. Oh, the warlocks aren't there. See, so, yeah, the enemy keeper is easily losing. Five, four, three. All right. All that's left now is to get my creatures to the enemy heart, a dungeon heart. And we should be getting a vampire in the process, hopefully. Hopefully they, yeah, they're going towards. Unfortunately, dragons and baldemons are slow, but on the upside, Ooh, I can hear a heart. Here it is. On the upside, the enemy keeper doesn't have... He's got three creatures. I can probably... The fast creatures can probably deal with that. Alright. No problems. I can just stop that. Let some of these guys go back. Who's here? Must have come in after the call to arms. So, graveyard starting to fill up. Enemy keeper is doomed. I'm going to get the bow demons back because it just takes so long. No, probably hungry. Go training. All right. And I get access to this gem here. Brilliant. So I can stop all of this. I want the imps to come over to the other side of the dungeon. If I had taken over that ivory before defeating the enemy keeper, it would have lost all of its spells. Ooh. Hurt and hungry dragons. Oh, yeah. I like how the dragons kick the, the <laughs> kick the chickens into the mouth. They're pretty skilled. Hungry dragons. Right, let's just have a huge treasury here. To be honest, I can probably do the same with the enemy keeper. Uh, Alright, all I want. Good, good, good. All I want to happen is my imps to claim all this land make this hatchery really big then go across to uh, uh, the enemy keepers here that's because the store got knocked down well that's not so bad but how did this get bit oh no there's an empty space here do you know what no you can die all right and to get my army of imps over here all right, now they're doing their job. That's good, right. Got to keep an eye out for imps coming in from the right. This layer's nearly ours. One, two, three. All right, I want to speed up this process as quickly as possible. Stick that to there. Alright. 
I don't want this workshop here. Let's get rid of it. All right. I am still whatever you want. What I say, hatchery. I want to increase the size of the hatchery. This is so when the creatures finish their fighting, that and they're always hungry and want to heal a bit. Oh, it's pointless scavenger room. How did the enemy imp get out if its door is locked? Oh, the vampires. They go to the scavenger room. I wanted to put them in a training room. Right. What's this? Manufacture lava trap. Lava traps are cool. Quite an expensive payday, but it doesn't really matter anymore how expensive payday gets. So I've got three sides of a gem that I can mine. Right. I think I'm being a bit too cautious here. I can probably just go and knock on the door of the enemy keeper. Oh, look at that. Let's just have a big treasury, shall we? All right, once I've got this hatchery built, I'm gonna go say hello to the other keeper. No, it doesn't matter. All right, I say that, I also wanna get this treasury built up as much as I want. Oh, imps, you can't all. Ah, vampires. Ugh. Must have a few vampires by now. Four. Nice. Right. Ooh, there's another training room. Did I sell it? No. There you go. Right. Let's go get this other keeper. 32 creatures against 15. Should be fine with that. There are loads of heroes down here. I'll get them afterwards. They're all level one. So not much of a problem. And the only creatures I don't want coming are the vampires. I want the vampires I want to keep them training. Demon spawn. Oh, only one warlock survived. And put the bileys in a bit later. These guys are able to explore a bit. Ooh, a bit higher level. All right. Let's get the bar. Aha, uh -huh, right. Let's get everyone here now. Not everyone, but more of them. Now, since all the enemies are here in one place, lightning strike. I haven't used it very much in this campaign. But this is probably going to be the hardest battle. I don't really mind if I'm losing creatures. Oh, here's the enemy heart. Alright, don't want Call to Arms to be costing money. Uh, do you know what? I could probably end Call to Arms and just. That's okay. Pretty sure the Dungeon Heart is straightforward. In fact, let's get Meteor out. Start. Smashing some imps that are running away from me. Probably because they're hungry, haven't been paid, maybe dead bodies. <laughs> and here's the dungeon heart. Easy stuff. Alright, easy, easy. A bit of power, heal. Back to flame breath. 
Ignore any other creatures around me. Should be able to survive. All I need to do is take out this dungeon heart. Oh, I just like using word of power. Let's just watch this. Yeah. So all that's left now are the heroes down to the south. This keeper also had some gems, two sides open. Yeah, no problems. <laughs> right. Lots of vampires. Level 4. They get to the level 4 really quickly, vampires. Then it takes them a long time to level up after that. Okay, so how should we take care of these heroes? I think we should do a bit of this. Or maybe we should just finish this quickly. We've still got to explore a little bit. Right. Quickest way to get through the doors. I suppose it's just to drop someone there. I was going to get the imps to dig out the gold, but we don't need to do that. What's wrong with this dark mistress? Oh, she's just hurt. Um, where's her lair? Must be in here. I don't know if she's just going to leave. Nah, she'll be fine. Oh, creature. Sink. <laughs> Oh dear, it's all going wrong, isn't it? Right, vampires. Uh, where's the lair? There's a here. I'm going to get all the vampires together. Because they all need to be going into there. Ah, right. Oh, that's a mistake. Because the creatures are all going to come and go back home by going through this lair next to the gold. Oh well. Right. I'm just going to save. I'm just going to see how well I can do with the level 10 dragon against all these level 1 heroes. Mm, heal. I don't know if the dragon, the dragon might be hungry. One thing I don't like is I can't tell if this is actually attacking the door or not. Which is why... Yeah, my dragon's a bit hungry. <laughs> ah, easy. Let's walk in. Say bye bye, heroes. The point of this really is that just behind some gold around here, there's a graveyard. I think the idea is to get a vampire made from killing all these heroes. I wonder if these heroes are leveling up. Fighting, uh, you'll just die from that. Those fairies are good spellcasters, but very low health, very weak. Let's get a word of power. Oh, not yet. Heal. Come on, flame of breath. Ooh, there's a few of them here now. Right, here we go. Alright. Accuracy is not so good. One creature at a time. Word of power. <laughs> Kill a few, few in one go. I think that's most of the heroes. There's still one set of heroes on this side. Oh, guys. Imps, come on. Do the clever thing. Right, all I really need to do now want to is get to this power up on the left hand side. Uh, vampires and warlocks, yeah. Do you know what? Let's just get rid of the warlocks. We've only got two of them. At this point, vampires are fine. Gods don't care for my sacrifice. Right. Uh, you can stop digging. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. Dig this out. Yeah. Right, uh, we haven't completed the level yet because there are still heroes behind this 
here. You can hear them walking around. Meredith and the ball demons in. Oh, why didn't you heal yourself properly? There you go. Go get some food. Here they come. All right, ball demons, go. Make sure you don't go anywhere. Hang around for a bit. Might lose some of the lower level ball demons. Not sure. But the high level ones should take care of everything, really. Uh, easy. This level is so much easier than the one before. What is this? Yes, transfer creature. <laughs> Vampire level one, level one, level one, level one. Uh, vampires aren't so bad to transfer. I uh, have done that before because I'm really good at researching, actually. Um, but I don't have one at level 10 and we're going to spend time doing it. Right. Let's find the level 10 dragon. Don't have many level 10 creatures. Just the one. So be it. Save. All right, done. There is a graveyard behind here. Let's just show you quickly before we go. There we are. So I think the idea is you kill all the level 1 heroes, put them into this graveyard, and you get some vampires nice and quickly. Right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.